Okay, this is a Bernina 800D serger. It was completely seized up last night when we bought it for, anyway. Uh, and uh, it was so um, frozen up that uh, we couldn't even get the front of it off initially. And it was stuck with the needles down. Um, so we had to take a lot of... We, a lot of it apart before we were able to do it but i'm trying to make this video to show all these pieces everywhere that it is moving metal through metal or against metal everywhere that there is a pivot everywhere there is a slide and there are little slides hidden throughout this machine um see how that little one there is sliding Every one of those, and on the sides of this bushing up here, all of those have to be oiled. If you can look down inside there as he's spinning it, see those two bars? Those bars have to slide back and forth, and so those need oiled as well. Um, all of the pivot points for the um, all the pivot points for your uh, upper and lower loopers have to be oiled um, every single one of these little teeny tiny pivot points if you're actually going to try and do a major overhaul of something like this you really really got to pay attention to every single piece that moves notice these brass bearings here they were black everything was just rusty rusty corroded nasty um, we've done quite a bit of cleaning on it the stuff you're seeing on it now yes it has lots of oil because it needs lots of oil um this thing probably sat for a minimum of a decade uh either outdoors or in a sh unheated and air conditioned shed in north carolina but each of those little points needs oiled and uh yeah, you might not want to do that while it's under warranty, but if your warranty's up, and this baby's old enough that its warranty was up ages ago, I'm sure, um, uh, you need to figure out where everything slides and moves together um, to and get oil in each of those areas. Okay. Um, this other area um, that these see the little I don't know if you can see in there there's little holes in there and they're on both sides and you need to get oil in those because this uh, when that is rotated oh I can't rotate it without the hand wheel on it now but that's okay um, but uh, basically all of those areas need to be oiled as well those funny little tiny holes deep down in there it's hard to get enough lighting here you can see the light reflecting off the edges of those tiny little holes in there um, but literally everywhere that metal goes through metal and moves you've got to get oil there even though this might have been mostly permanently lubricated to give you an idea of how